What's up, everybody? I'm up here in North Georgia. Had to go through three states to get here. Left my house in Tennessee, drove to North Carolina, then come back into Georgia. Just driving. This is all Appalachian Mountains up here. And uh, fishing a really cool river that I fished once before. The water looks really low. Oh, there's Aaron. He's over there. He's stuck up behind me. We're loading up an Aaron's truck. We're going to run up the river about five or six miles. And we're going to put in and start floating down. Um, he does a lot of topwater fishing, and this is a river that's usually good for topwater, so I'm going to try to throw a lot of topwater, but I'm sure I'll have a Helgramite and a spinnerbait close by, so it's going to be fun, I think. There's one. Oh! Got a good one. On the jerk shad. Boom, we got a fish already. I wasn't sure they were gonna be in stuff like that. He came out from under that log right there. Uh, that's a spotted bass. Maybe a little mix or something. Or maybe a hybrid, I'm not sure. He's got a, no, no tooth patch. That is interesting. I definitely think he's still a hybrid, not a shoal bass. About a 14 incher there. Dude, I think it's gonna be a good day. This is gonna be on. He came up and smoked that lure. And um, so I've been using the, um, a, the mag fluke a lot recently. Now this is the scented jerk shad um, Z-Man. Aaron had one and I was like, oh, I wanna try that. And yeah, he came up and hit it really good. And there's one. That's right where I call Dude, it. Dude, it's a nice fish too. Exactly. Dude, it's a big one. It's only a spot. But not a giant, but pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good size spot. I call him out 17 right there. Dude, this might be it. Well, this is a 17 incher. Aaron, uh, he said, I caught a spot there last time. Right after you said that, I got this bite. It might be the same fish. That's cool. It's a good spot though. Let off that rock. Yeah. That's cool. I saw him come up and eat it. Ooh, that's not bad. Show bass, right? Yeah, it's show bass. Yeah, alright, well, there's a second one on the uh Fluke. A 15 inch shell bass. The jerk shad, not the fluke lure. He's off a, a rock out there in the middle there. Shoal bass. Well, there's a little shoaly out of there. We're not getting quite the explosions and all the hits that we were really hoping for, but we got quite a bit of river left also, so I'm not sure how the rest of that is going to go. I've got a few now on that 4.25 inch Nico Helgramite. Just kind of tossing it in. There's a 
all kinds of little rocks and crevices and it looks really good right here i thought this place would be loaded there's one. Oh, that feels good oh yeah come here come here lot of water and I can't figure out where they're at. I'm trying to cover as much water as I can so and I haven't been coming up and hammering that well so there's a I thought he was bigger than that but he was in the current oh 16 and a half that's not bad right there 16 and a half inches maybe the spinnerbait is something that's gonna work we're gonna throw it around and find out he was right here in the back of this pool. We're not going down this side. I think, I think we're going down the other side over there. So it's got a little bit of drops, but I think the spinnerbait might, I don't know, we'll see how, if it plays or what happens. Yeah. I just switched to it just because, well, I thought maybe they were up in that water. And like, maybe if I just covered that fast water, it'll hit it. Good one. I got a good one. By 16 or 17. Well, that's about another 15 incher on spinnerbait. Man, these fish do have some power. Oh, I'm rolling right into a good spot right here. Might have messed it up. Let's see if I can deep pocket. Oh man, it's nice right here. Rolled right up on it. Well, that was the first one right after a little lunch break. And we just got to these islands where it looks a whole lot better, more current, more, uh, you know, rocks that are up and down. Looks better shoal bass territory. Oh. Yeah. That little spot. Oh, we're about to go down some rapids here. Probably can walk it. was a bit an ordeal and uh it's something i keep in mind every time i float rivers you just never know the water is pretty calm i mean for the most part pretty easy going and nothing crazy one little run right there i tried to make it and i didn't get a good angle i have a bad angle coming in and it just stu uh, stuck me on that rock and i just couldn't bounce off the rock uh i thought it was just gonna bounce off and keep going so i tried bailing out but Aaron got a bite right here from a striper. 
Uh, I don't think I lost anything. Everything looks good, so we're gonna fish right here a little bit and uh, keep on moving. Surely. Dude, that might be a big one. Whoa, what do I have? I'm stuck on a rock. I gotta pull this fish up to me. It's a big fish. It's coming, it's coming. It's not that big, but it's the biggest one today, I think. I'm good. Woo! Well, another 16 inch shoulder for today. Watch that one eat it off a log. I was throwing behind me. There's a log there, some shoals, and a nice shoal bass. Well, we take a one more break right here. Got a little bit left to go. And it was at three, just after three. So uh, we've been here four hours. Not bad. Well, here's not so great of an update. I had our last little break here. Had my Mountain Dew, honey bun. Took a little swim. I'm like, this may be my last chance to swim as it's getting colder. Went to check this back camera and the microphone on it was still full of water. Um, looked for my backup camera and I realized I lost it when I flipped, or halfway, didn't totally flip. When I halfway flipped my kayak, 
I had a backup camera with a little hold, rod holder and it's gone. So I lost a GoPro and a little Yak Attack mounts. Hopefully that one up there has been working. I don't even know if it's been working the whole time. Hopefully it's working and audio is working. Oh, I got hit by something in there. Hey! We got one on the buzz, babe. Little spotted bass. Dang, is this the this is second fish I've landed. Uh, one on the hug and bite and one on the buzz bait. Finally, one on the buzz bait since it was like an hour ago I had a break. Oh, hey, two on the buzz bait. Going down this bank. Another spot of bass. We're in a little calmer water. It's more where they inhabit. They still like current, but compared to the shoal bass, these guys like like a calm water. Shoal bass like a fast water mostly. Dub digger. You made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see if I can catch that now. And just like that. Just like that. Um, I mean, probably about 15, 16. I think. Where you at, buddy? Get over here. Get over here. Well, he's fighting pretty good. Maybe. Switch to the young dinger. And guess what? Right away. Didn't even have to move. Catch like a 15, 16 inch. Feels good. That's a good one there. Not real big, but oh, he's solid though. Maybe my biggest one today. Oh yeah, that's a pretty fish right there. Got some rapids and shoals coming up, and there, right there, is a another 15-inch shoal bass on the Umdinger there. Sun's starting to go down. It's already after six, um, and uh, but I don't think we got much more to go. Seven. Break it. Come 
No, come here. Mm, spit my lure off. Nah, that's spot. Oh, it was? I thought it was a spot. I That's what's crazy. Like there, I think we we missed so much. We went over so many fish trying to force them to eat. But if we would have just fished these, if, <laughs> if we had just, uh, I think we could have fished uh, those small flukes all day and caught. Cause they were hitting that big fluke, but I think they would hit the small one. Oh, boom. Ah, oh, it came off. Well, we've been out here a good little while. The sun's already starting to go down, but what a beautiful day and what a way to end it and just spend it all day out here on the river um, before it starts getting really cold. And uh, we, we got a little bit more time. There's probably another month or two that'll still stay pretty warm, but the, the night's already getting cooler. It was cool um, this morning. It was like in the uh, 60s. Thanks Aaron back there for setting up this trip. And we both caught a ton of fish, lost a bunch of fish. He broke his camera mount. I ended up losing, I realized I lost my pliers and um, one camera and uh, like a, a mount for it. Nothing too crazy. I know it's 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 hard losing a camera, but I've had, it, had them for years. So you kind of expect them to do, uh, doing this many trips. Um, I'm surprised I haven't flipped more. So luckily today was, wasn't a full flip. Hopefully my back camera and everything's fine with it. So I think that's gonna end it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm ready to get out here and head to go get some food. Well, no giant though, good one. Dude, he's digging. Hope he stays on. Oh, it is pretty good. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, that's my best fish of the day by far. I turned my camera off and I catch four super fast on this flick thing. I just did my outro too. We'll have to get a video. And at the ramp. <laughs> this is crazy. But that's a good fish. That's one of the probably an 18 incher. Yeah. Alright.